What's up, Meta Nerds? This video is all about the Happen Battle Dragon, an incredibly obscure ship that was used by the Happy's Consortium. It was manufactured by Olaji Chiruba, creator of the Mytol Assault Bombers and Starfighters. At a length of 500 meters, or 1,640 feet, it was about a third of the length of the Imperial Star Destroyer, while at a height of 187.5 meters, or 615 feet, it was as tall as two Zillow Beasts, and at 455 meters, or 1,493 feet wide, it was about two and a half sand crawlers thinner than the Venator class Star Destroyer. Its top speed is unknown, but with its class 2 hyperdrive, it could keep up with an ISD while also having a backup class 14. Its armament might be the most impressive thing about this ship, well, besides its ridiculous design that is, coming in with 40 turbo laser batteries, 40 ion cannons, two triple ion cannons, 10 proton torpedo launchers, a tractor beam, and 16 pulse mass generators, a weapon that fired out mines, which created mini gravity wells to prevent the enemy from escaping. This was all in addition to a hangar bay that could accommodate 36 Mitel Starfighters, or 36 X-Wings. To keep all this working properly, it required a crew of 1,200, along with 190 gunners, in addition to transporting 500 troops, and 6,000 metric tons of cargo, a weight equal to 1,500 Banthas. To better appreciate how insane these stats are, just compare them to an Imperial Star Destroyer, and remember that it's less than a third of its size. This was all combined with some ingenious engineering, which had the top and bottom saucers rotate, so that they could ready fresh guns while they recharged their capacitors. This had to be incorporated due to the shortcomings of their technology, which developed in relative isolation, leading to them mastering tech used in ion cannons, but lagging behind the rest of the galaxy when it came to the power output of their turbo lasers. Based in the Hapes Cluster, the Hapes Consortium would come to use this as their primary capital ship, being supported by the Nova-class battlecruiser. They were able to use this ship to lock down their territory, but as the Empire and various warlords grew in power, there were some serious flaws with this ship that presented themselves when put up against powerful militaries. The Hapen Royal Navy always intended to use the great number of these ships at once in order to overwhelm the enemy, and so they only built in four targeting computers and remember just how many weapons it had. The idea was that they could just rain down fire on a couple positions, which worked great for taking out capital ships, but it left the dragon open to attacks from corvettes and even starfighters. To make this even worse, its drive system was relatively exposed and not shielded, so a capable fire squadron could actually disable the ship and leave it floating dead in space. To give it some credit though, the enemy would still have to get past its own complement of starfighters, and if timed correctly, the rotations of these two saucers could take out enemy capital ships by using those four targeting computers to just focus ion cannon fire on shield generators, followed by salvos of proton torpedoes, and then anchor the ship in place with those pulse mass mines, so that it could lay down constant fire from the rotation of the turbo laser batteries. The effects of this tactic were seen in dramatic effect when several of these ships were able to take out a super star destroyer that was in orbit over Dathomir, albeit with the help of the plot armor enabled ship, the Millennium Falcon. Later, the Hapes Cluster would join forces with the New Republic, upgrading the laser cannon and ion cannon tech of each party. This became especially useful when the Yuuzhan Vong invaded the galaxy in the year 25 ABY, a species who didn't use electronics, and thus were not so affected by the ion cannons. The last time we hear about this ship being used is in 40 ABY, when Pelion upgraded a bunch of these battle dragons with Galactic Alliance tech. So that's it for its history, and the only cool behind the scenes fact is that it was introduced in the 1994 book The Courtship of Princess Leia, and expanded upon with the Star Wars role-playing guide material, along with the Essential Guide to Warfare, and the Essential Guide to Vehicles and Vessels. So that's it for the Hapen Battle Dragon, but most important of all, remember, never judge an obscure ship by its cover, and the Force will be with you. Always.